is so popular with this crowd, everyone concerned. This day is broken, but I know it's not broken. Franco Colombo is a name synonymous with the bodybuilding and strength scene as not only was he the Mr. Olympia back in 1976 and 81, but he was also Arnold Schwarzenegger's best friend and training partner for over 50 years, starting from the 1960s and up until he sadly passed away during a drowning accident back in August of 2019 at 78 years of age. May he rest in peace. But today I'm not gonna focus on Franco's tremendous bodybuilding career, but rather that he is potentially one of the most underrated strength athletes of all time, holding a ton of unofficial records in sports like powerlifting and even competing in the world's strongest man as the lightest ever competitor. So let's move a bit back in time to admire this guy's insane journey. Franco Colombo was born on the island of Sardinia in a town called Olomai, with around 1,000 people living there, which he also made a funny remark of after the filming of Raw Iron. It wasn't exactly a place with a whole lot of things to do, so Franco started training for boxing at a young age after being beaten up repeatedly as a child, which made him one day decide to return the favor and after realizing he had a talent for beating people up, he started a competitive boxing career while working as a shepherd. And he was very good at that, but after winning over 30 different matches in Europe, Franco decided that boxing wasn't for him, and I quote, It's too rough on the face and head. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So Franco decided he wanted to get into weightlifting and powerlifting because he was already very strong from doing boxing for a few years. And after moving to Germany in the early 1960s to work on construction, Franco also got into competitive bodybuilding. Now Franco did compete in both weightlifting and powerlifting during this time, but if you look it up on the internet you will barely find some photos and no videos or any official results from that time. But based on claims from Franco himself, in an era where weightlifting still used the press as a primary lift, Franco had a 325 pound clean and press, which is basically a strict overhead press, a 270 pound snatch and a 400 pound clean and jerk while only weighing around 165 which would actually beat the Olympic champion for that weight class at the time, although we need to take those claims with a pinch of salt because we don't actually have any official footage of Franco doing any sorts of weightlifting other than some black and white still images, which show weights far below his claims. But while working in Germany during that time, Franco would meet his future husband, I mean training partner and best friend Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1965, at a bodybuilding competition in Stuttgart. And from there, the two would move to California in the late 1960s to start a bricklaying company, of all things, to support their bodybuilding careers. From then, Franco and Arnold would become lifelong partners in crime. He was the Jerry to his Tom, the broccoli to his chicken, the Mussolini to his... And of course, we all know how well Arnold did in bodybuilding by winning six Olympias back to back and then one more in 1980, while Franco won the Olympia first in 1976 after Arnold's supposed retirement, and once again after 1981, again after Arnold's supposed retirement. During this time, Franco weighed around 180 pounds of pure muscle and was possibly in his strongest ever shape. And during those years in the 70s, Franco would perform some of the most incredible strength feats the world has ever seen for a man of his size. Like here in 1972, he performed a 700 pound deadlift for 3 solid reps, completely raw, even without a belt, while weighing around 180 pounds, which is an almost 4 time bodyweight lift and 4 reps. And it definitely makes his all time claim of a 750 pound max very believable. Franco has also demonstrated bending steel bars while putting the fucking thing in his teeth for optimal leverage. And he also blew up a freaking hot water bottle by just breathing into it, which, according to the commentator, requires over 600 pounds of force. Before, of course, throwing the remains into the audience. Mom, look, I got the remains of the water bottle! Shut up, Timmy, we're gonna sell that shit on eBay. Franco has also gone on record claiming a 525 pound bench and a 650 pound squat, and although both are insanely impressive for his weight, the bench would virtually beat every powerlifter in his weight class for the next 40 years. Despite having virtually no arch and a relatively long range of motion while lifting on equipment like this. And Franco, despite being one of the lightest bodybuilders even in an era where mass wasn't a dominant factor, he was so strong that he was in fact invited to participate at the first World Strongest Man in 1977, where he ended up placing 5th overall out of 8 competitors. Which is pretty impressive considering Franco was outweighed by over 100 pounds by every other competitor, 
and he is to date still the lightest man to ever compete at the competition. For reference, they only really invited two bodybuilders to the competition, one of which was the massive Lou Ferrigno weighing at around 300 pounds, and the other was Franco. Unfortunately, Franco would end up dislocating his left knee during the supposedly very safe for work fridge carry, which was later scrapped by the competition as an event. This caused his left leg to never really get back into the size it used to have, so when Franco won the 1981 Mr. Olympia after that injury, there was a massive uproar, but that's a story for another time. Franco may very well have been the world's strongest man pound for pound in the 70s, and his lifts and records still challenge some of the most seasoned powerlifters and strongmen even today. But high key, his most incredible feat was probably being able to handle all of Arnold's bullshit for close to 50 years. No, side chest, not front chest, Franco, side. Yeah, I mean, I just things change a little bit when we go to the side. <laughs> 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 Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, check out my sponsors and coaching linked in the description. And I'll see you all next time.